Hey guys, it's Patrick here, and today I'm here with Alex Pandrea. I know it's been a while since I last updated on my YouTube channel, but today I want to bring you guys a free effect. So Patrick, I thought about it long and hard, and I know the kind of magic that you do is very intricate, light intensive, but also a lot of strip outs and a lot of technical moves, basically a- Visual, simple, direct- Asian style. magic, that's Asian right. Magic. Uh, it's a combination of Dr. Daly's last trick with reset. So if you know those two classic effects, this is my version of it. it has a lot of moves, very move monkey heavy, sort of, there's a lot of slights to it, but I think it's fun. So yeah, grab your decks, see you guys very soon as in right now. We need four aces for this trick. There's one, two, three, and four aces, the black ones and the red ones. I'm gonna leave two on the box and two in my hand, separating them. There's two on the box and two in my hand. The black ones will be in my hand, red ones on the table. They're gonna switch places one by one. Watch, I come close, but I don't touch. And I steal the first red one out from the table. And there's the second one. There's two red aces in my hand, leaving the two black aces in the table, if I do this, now they switch back. This, the red ones, leaving the black ones in my hand. Another switch, it's amazing, it's crazy. It's a four ace miracle. Okay, so this is a mix of Dr. Daly's last trick and actually reset. So I was obsessed with both these tricks when I was little uh, and I combined them with just four cards. Now reset, as you know, usually uses the four aces and the four maybe jacks or queens or something like that and they switch one by one. Each card switches with the rest um, with a reset at the end, which I really like. And Dr. Daly's last trick uses the four aces and they switch once. So this is a combination of both. You need four cards and you produce the four aces and the setup is important. The two black aces are towards you, so on the face, and the two red aces are on the bottom. All right, so that's the setup uh, and you need it like this for moving into the effect. I like to remember it as the ace of spades is always on the top facing me, so you know that the two black ones and the two red aces are here. Uh, and the reason is important in just a second, you'll see. Now, to do the first move is you're going to show the cards back and forth like this, but actually what you're doing is you're separating the reds into the left hand, the blacks into the right, and as you turn over, you're going to switch the middle two cards as you turn over to display, all right? So that's the first step. So you show, as you do that, you just literally the fingers on the bottom switch the two cards and the thumbs bring them out like that. And of course, you don't wanna show this, you wanna do it as they come over like that, all right? So you show, show, and now without showing the faces, remember the spectators in front of you, I'm gonna use my right hand to turn over these cards and place these cards, which are the two now mixed cards like that. So I'm keeping it with my thumb. I'm going to spread like this and get a break, a thumb break really, uh, with your right thumb as I'm going to spread the two cards and place two on the table. I'm gonna square these up and actually drop the bottom card of the right hand onto the packet of the left hand. So as I do this, I come forward and remember the break is here. So all I have to do is push with my left finger as I square up the cards and place them on the table. Okay, so it looks like I'm taking the two cards I'm squaring up and I'm placing it on the table. I like to use the box because it's gonna be easier to pick up at the end. Turn these end for end like this and I'm going to take my left fingers and strip off and show the two black aces like this in my uh, hand. Now the, the uh, orientation of this is important. I don't place it like this, I place it like this so I can do a lateral steal, a lateral palm, I'm gonna use a lateral palm um, when I pivot this around so my thumb is literally going to start pushing while the cards are in a lateral palm. So if you don't know, here is a lateral palm that I use my middle finger to grip the index corner and it goes between the ring finger or and the middle finger, okay, and this side. All right, so that's a lateral palm. And, and I just literally put it in here as my thumb kicks this out and I rotate stealing this card, and now I'm gonna display these cards so you're clean between the middle finger and the first finger, okay? This is not a necessity, you don't have to display them, but I feel it's a little cleaner this way. So you do this, and now I'm going to square this back up, come back here, and okay, again, this is, a, you're hiding it, right? So this is a cover, right? I also do a lot of rings and jewelry to also distract them. Uh, it's not really distracting them. They're just like, what the hell is that on your finger? That's a weird ring. Anyway, so you come back and you uh, 
place this on top and turn everything end for end again. All right, I'm gonna come here and I'm going to say I'm gonna come close, but I'm not gonna touch and they're gonna switch one by one. And there's the first one. Now, you're gonna show this card twice. This is why it's important that the red aces are on the bottom, because you're gonna show, do a frustration count and show this card twice. So I go boom, there's the first one, and I do it fast. And sometimes, if there's a lot of people or people are too close, I could even point so they only see the red ace, a flash of the red ace. So I go boom, there's the first one. I come back and I strip this card off. And now I give a little time misdirection so they don't notice I'm gonna show the second one again. I do this, you gotta make the sound effect. That's important, if you don't do that, then just put the cards down and give up right now. Sound effect is important, look. Makes it feel real, right? All right, just kidding. So you show the second one again, and again, maybe point really quickly, and again, you're going to do the exact same procedure as in the first step. Lateral palm, twirl it around, say, if the red cards are in my hand, that means the black ones are on the table, come forward, and this is why I place it on the box. I pick up both, and I do this. Now you could do it one of two ways. You could do it really fast as I turn these over and I go, and that means the black ones are, oh, actually they switched again. Or you could do it really slow by doing the switching procedure by saying, and if the black ones are here, if I do this, they switch again, okay? Uh, so those are just two ways to do the ending. Um, really quickly, once again, there are the two cards. Switch, turn over, thumb is here, break, Two cards, square, dropping the third one here. Two cards on the table, but in fact, you're only placing the one. I like to use the box, strip here. Single card on the bottom, double on top. Show, display. Okay, so show, lateral, thumb, twirl, into the first two fingers, display. This goes back on top, hiding it, end for end. Boom, that's one. Peel off, boom, that's two. Twirl, display, come back. Now they've switched once again, and you're done. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and thank you, Alex, for joining us here today. If you didn't like it, Whatever, it's his channel, not mine, you know what I'm saying? It's free anyway, so. <laughs> I, I do like the trick. I don't perform it everywhere, right? Everywhere I go. But if you're sitting at a table and you produce the four aces and the spectator's like, so now what do you do with those four aces? You go, oh, funny, you should have just learned something on Patrick Kuhn's YouTube channel. Uh, and you go into this trick. It's great. If you want to find out more information, you can go ahead, head over to his site. I'll put the link down in the description or you can just click on the link over here and you can see more stuff from him. He's got some great tutorial, some card collection, theory, a lot of cool stuff. So probably better than mine anyway. So with that said, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I said that in the beginning. So stupid, stupid. Give me four aces for this trick. There's one, two. There's one, two. That, you didn't get that? There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four, and there's another random card that I don't need. I don't need you. I don't need you. Trick, there's one.